Cartoon Cartoons. Okay, are you ready? Yes, here we go. You're watching Mixables Chernobyl. Today, we're going to take a look at the top 10 differences between The Little Mermaid from 1989 to 2023. Well, I can't wait for the last year, but though, so, uh, in case in 2022, it's going to be good, but, uh, it's probably four years, I mean, in two we years later, in 2024. So, anyways, enjoy the video. Action! To Ms. Mojo, and today oh, we're going to you're gonna next be a beautiful the top 10 mermaid. differences between the Little Mermaid 1989 and 2023. For this list, we'll be looking at changes that Disney made in the Ooh, Little Mermaid transition from animated in love, huh? classic to live That's action a remake. Really that different ones for both films. Spoiling what alert. did you think of these differences? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Ariel's first time on the surface. Our introduction to Ariel remains virtually the same as the titular Little Mermaid explores a sunken ship with flounder. Ariel, don't! <laughs> they also encounter a shark. Although this time, Ariel gets to film the film right out of Jurassic Park. I Clever think she'll girl, be playing on that time. Instead of going to the surface to ask Scuttle about Dinglehoppers, it's established that Ariel has never been above water, although she longs to be where the people are. I just want to know more about them. In the animated Ooh. film, Tritton <laughs> condemns his 16-year-old daughter for repeatedly swimming to the surface. This is definitely the remix the Ariel, whose age is left ambiguous, is more That's hesitant to defy the father. After seeing I the fireworks from up above, though, Ariel can no longer contain her is. desire to be part of that world. Number 9, New, new Songs. songs. The remake brings back most of the classic songs by Howard Ashman and Alan Menken, albeit with some adjustments. Poor Unfortunate Souls cuts the verse about idle babble. Don't wonder if the cut's looking too! As the girls' lyrics receive a few minor tweaks to erase hmm. any notions that Eric would, quote, force himself on hmm. Ariel, as Don't Megan wonder what it. these are. Still got the classic looking too. Menken teamed with Lin-Manuel Miranda for three additional tunes. Eric gets an I Want song, Wild Uncharted Waters, which echoes her voice from the stage musical. Taking another page from Broadway, Ariel sings a new song, for the first time, through an inner monologue. Part of that world. Part of the world. Still one in the movie can Scuttle and Sebastian also share a rap that's pure Miranda, the Scuttlebutt. Les Poissons sadly gets left out to sea, although that song would have been more grotesque in live action. The Daughters of Triton. Daughters of Triton is another song that's removed from the remake. Part of that's because the daughters are all given new names. Caspia, Indira, Karina, Mala, Perla, and Tamika. Ariel is mm. now the only sister who's Still name definitely begins with an the A. Same. So very different. Instead of a concert, the sisters are gathering for a meeting with Don't Triton about an upcoming moon own. ceremony. Of course, Ariel is naturally absent. Ariel. 
filmmakers felt the Daughters of Triton song wasn't necessary for this version, wanting to build more anticipation to part of your world. As such, Fathoms Below is shown and heard later Mermaid in the film, making Ariel's I Want Mermaid Song the film's first me. number. Triton's daughters are also more diverse, as is the rest of the cast. Number 7, Scuttle. Scuttle remains the bird brain we all know and love, unable to tell a fork from a dinglehopper. It's a dinglehopper. Man, dingle that's bird, talking baby. about difference too. To straighten your hair out. Don't the comedic playing. character undergoes more than a couple of changes, however. Buddy Hackett injected a lot of his personality into the 1989 Scuttle. Aquafina does the same with her take on the character. This casting comes with a gender swap, but the tweaks don't end there. Scuttle I isn't wonder. just Eagle in the remake, <laughs> but rather a so northern got a good female. I really didn't expect to find her here. Being a diving bird, <laughs> Scuttle is now able to interact a with diving Ariel bird. <laughs> Aquafina aimed to put a unique spin on the character with the filmmakers oh. to add love. You know, why don't you tell me something nice? Hey, Scuttle, I like your hair. I like the center part because the side part looks like it's receding a little bit. At the same time, she also <laughs> sought to honor the late Hackett by incorporating touches of his portrayal. Aquafina! Between Worlds. King Triton makes his feelings about humans abundantly clear in the animated version. Ariel, how many times must we go through this? You could have been seen by one of those barbarians, by, by one of those humans. In the remake, it isn't just Triton who has a prejudice to work through. There are preconceived notions on both sides, with sailors well, accusing mermaids of drawing the them to watery too. graves. Eric's mother believes that the people of the this sea are responsible for creating the storms that sink their ships. Ship! Meanwhile, the merfolk don't <laughs> appreciate having to clean up the sunken ships that humans leave behind. Triton's hatred of humans is personal because one killed Ariel's mother. Although this detail wasn't in the 1989 film, we do see what happened to Queen Athena in the direct-to-video Ariel's beginning. Athena was lost to us. She went out a lot like Ursula, between a boat and a hard place. That's definitely number not five. Us. Eric's backstory. Well, I bet Eric is perhaps fleshed out the most in the remake. That was a video. lot of training to play the characters. Do you want to talk? It's revealed that Eric was orphaned as a baby, and the local royalty took him in after he washed ashore. The king has since passed away. Although Eric's adoptive mother, Queen Selena, continues to rule over the kingdom. I wanted to be able to connect with him on a deeper level, just me. Regardless of anyone else, I wanted to understand who he was. While there isn't an urgency for Eric to marry in this version, still got a his lot mother there still wishes luck. to see him settle down. Eric's goals go beyond searching for the mystery girl who rescued him. Ooh, chicky. Like Ariel, Eric possesses an unquenchable <laughs> thirst for adventure, wishing to see other parts of the world. It's a nice contrast, with Ariel wanting to be on land and Eric wanting to be out at sea, yet both essentially desire the same thing, freedom. Number 4. Ursula is Triton's sister. The remake takes the beef between Ursula and Triton a step further, making them right, siblings. That was a a sandwich? Sandwich? Oh. This plot point was actually in the storyboard stages of the animated film, with the sailors telling Eric that Triton's sister is the sea witch. King Triton is their ruler. He's got seven fair daughters. And a witch of a sister named Ursula. Ursula? In the final film, Ursula mentions that she used to live in the palace, although it's never canonized that she's Ariel's aunt. In my day. We had fantastical feasts. This when is definitely I a fantastic days and looks, huh? The 2023 remake isn't the first, first interpretation to incorporate the sibling rivalry. The Little Mermaid stage musical delves even deeper into Ursula's history with Triton. Each was given half the sea when their father died, but Triton banished Ursula as she went mad with power. Remember those good times? I want them back. Another version of the stage show gives Triton several older siblings, who Ursula kills to seize the throne. Number 3. Bonding over human and mermaid stuff. Following the animated film, it's love at first sight for Ariel and Eric in the remake, wow, with their romance playing out love. over three days. It may be the same time frame, but with a longer runtime, more moments are dedicated to them bonding. In one of the best new scenes, Ariel stumbles upon Eric's treasure trope that he's collected from his voyages. 
It's a welcome parallel with Ariel and Eric both Ooh, being fascinated by tricky. each other's worlds. Although some details have gotten lost in translation. Just as Ariel isn't sure how to properly... Ariel! It's, a, it's a, not often that we have such a lovely dinner guest, eh, Eric? Eric finds that his collection is full of surprises hiding in plain sight. The two also connect over astronomy, helping Eric to piece together Ariel's name. Ariel? Ariel? That's kind of pretty. Okay. Ariel. Number two, Ursula's Art of the Deal. The remake's Ariel is slightly more hesitant to strike a bargain with Ursula, but she ultimately gives in. You like to start trouble. Ariel seals the deal with blood rather than by signing a contract, addressing the why didn't she just write Eric a message plot hole? Still got Ariel a still sacrifices huh? her voice, but it's called still a siren here. Now. Ursula also throws in an extra detail that she neglects to tell Ariel. I whip up a little potion to make you human for three days. Got that? Three days. The witch puts a memory spell on Ariel, who forgets that she needs True Love's kiss to remain human. If you do, you will remain human permanently. That's why Ariel isn't quite as eager to pucker up during the That's girl. definitely yes. how that looks now. This edition lines up with Ursula's deceitful ways. Although it might have been more effective if she erased all of I Ariel's memories, playing, then Ursula definitely could have won. But if you don't, you'll turn back into a Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and Ooh. ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Climactic Role Reversal the animated Ariel is notably the first Disney princess to save the prince. She not only rescues Eric from a shipwreck, but also prevents him from getting zapped with the trident during the climax. <laughs> Eric returns the favor, defending Ariel with a well, harpoon still and impaling Ursula now. at the end. And Ursula is still too much him. Much of this remains the same in the remake although the roles are reversed during Ursula's demise. This time, Eric is caught in the whirlpool, while Ariel winds up oh, on a ship, a which she steers in Ursula's thing. direction. This change is similar to the stage musical, where Ariel also saves the day. Instead of running a ship through Ursula, though, the stage version sees Ariel destroy her Nautilus shell, in turn defeating the Sea Witch. No! 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 Do you agree with our picks? Well, I think that's it for now. So, uh, see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Well, that's it, mermaids. Thanks for watching.